The Stakeholder Democracy Network, SDN, in conjunction with the Inter-Party Advisory Council, has called for the inclusion of vulnerable groups such as women, youth and persons with disabilities in the structure of all political parties in the country. Stakeholders at the event agree that inclusion of these groups would not only encourage the political inclusiveness, but also strengthen democracy in the country. Plus TV, Emmanuel Ehijene completes the report. In his welcome remark, the national chairman of IPAC, Engineer Yebaji Sani, says the event is timely as it will help awaken the consciousness of all the political parties, stating that inclusiveness will help create a level playing field for all Nigerians, irrespective of status. The biggest chunk of the voting community is in fact made up of the group that they are targeting, which is the youth and women, people with disability. So to that extent, political parties definitely will be interested in seeing how we key into your <coughs> activities <coughs> so that we will be able to effectively engage with those uh, groups of, group of uh, citizens so that we'll be able to attract their votes uh, during the elections. As the end project manager, Joseph Akeng, explains the advocacy for political inclusiveness of women, youth, and persons with disabilities and politics and the value it will add to the nation's democracy. Is that too much for political parties to do? to give women, um, the youth and PWDs at least 35%. Another demand that they have made is that they should subsidize the cost of nomination forms during primary elections. While some stakeholders supported the call, Others say political parties have already adopted the affirmative action of 35% inclusiveness of women in their structure. They also say youth and persons with disabilities have also been given special places in the structure. This has been a major drive of action aid leading to the 2023 general election. We've been engaging with the political parties, you know, different political parties at the national and also at the state level. In fact, we've helped women, youths and all that develop their own agenda, which we've been using to engage with the political parties across different states. We've also done at the national level. The women shy away from coming out to participate in the election because of what goes along with it. Like when there is crisis, and you see like when you talk about women or people living with disability, you know when this thing you get to some police station, they find out that somebody, they can't make their way out of it. You need to engage the whole segment of the community. It's not the political party alone. This has to do with a lot of advocacy, a lot of awareness from the press, the civil societies, and so on and so forth. Because a lot of, you can see women are really participating. More than the 35 percent. Real women are really participating in politics. But for them to actualize themselves into position, that's where you need to. Vote by and by political parties was condemned in all its entirety as stakeholders called for a peaceful general election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.